Henritzi Andropoulos' photos. There was nothing illegal in We're that. We're not referring to that. As a matter of fact, Mr. Henritzi turned over all the photos and the copies of them that he got working for Channing to us. Miss Tolan, did you write this letter? No, of course not. Miss Tolan, we think you should know that the Chicago Hotel has confirmed that you were registered at the time this letter was written. We can also compare handwriting samples. All right. All right, yes, I wrote it. What's all this about? And now I have a question for the two of you. Detective Hughes, could I talk to you alone? Irene, uh, don't be silly. I'm your lawyer. The question is, how long did Mr. Channing know the two of you were having an affair? Have you? And now, part two of As the World Turns. How dare you make such an insinuation? I'm a happily married man. Please take a look at this. Oh. Did you know about this? How long did Channing know the two of you were having an affair? I think Irene is the only one who can answer that, since I had no idea. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to know that Tad was on to us. I was afraid I'd lose you. Why do you do this to us? To me, his friend, his lawyer. He knew he didn't need any further hold on me, but he was afraid that you might revolt at one of his schemes. Oh, my God! I've got a wife, a family. If this comes out, I'm in a lot of... There's no need for it to come out. If you cooperate with us. All right, I, I knew about the schemes with the pictures and the, the, the fixed books. But I did not participate in any of them, I swear to that. I tried my damnedest to convince him not to go ahead with these plans. When he asked me to make a reservation for him at the, the Mona Lisa that night he left, uh, I, I thought it was some sort of a practical joke. Funny. Did you draw this up for Lucinda Walsh to sign? Yes, I did. Did he legitimately owe Channing an additional $3 million? Uh, I, I couldn't say for sure. Tad did not totally confide in me. Are you sure? You sure he wasn't holding something over her head? I honestly don't know, and, and that's the truth. Thank you, Mr. Harbour. You're free to go. Miss Tolan, you'll have to stay. You mean I, I'm, I'm free to leave Oakdale? I don't see why not, as long as you keep in touch, in case we need you. Good. I, I'm, I'm very anxious to get back to my wife and family. I'm sure you are. Goodbye. There is one last question, Miss Tolan. Since the letter places you in the vicinity the night Channing was murdered, did you see him that night? Are you insinuating that... Oh, I... please, don't get hoppy with me. And I want you to weigh your answers very carefully. Especially since your previous statements show that you've been lying since the beginning. Mm, toothpaste. Okay, have I forgotten anything? Saying. Tomorrow's the first day of the rest of your life. <laughs> so make it a good one. Nine. Now that I've admitted to killing Ted Channing, are you going to notify the Oakdale police? Yes. All set? Miss Snyder here has just given us a full confession on the Channing murder. It's being typed up for her to sign. Is that right? Yes. And I, I was just wondering if you can release Craig Montgomery now. I mean, you really don't need him anymore. I'm, and he's already suffered enough. Well, I can't actually release him until I get the official okay from the Oakdale Police Department. 
but I can notify him of what's happening. Yes, yes, this is Warden O'Keefe. Wait for you to find prisoner Craig Montgomery for me. He may be in the gym, works out late afternoon. Yeah, and have Joyce start on the necessary paperwork for his release. Have him sent straight to my office. Right, this is a very highly unusual situation. You might be interested to know the guards are playing a friendly little game of one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody's gonna bother us. <laughs> Shut up, Justin. Don't you see you make him nervous? Five to one, Turk. You need odds like that? Okay. Great. What's this all about? You know what happens when somebody squeals to the fuzz? We gotta teach him a lesson. <laughs> we gotta make sure nobody thinks a rat gets away without paying the price. Take him. All right, all right, listen, hey, all right. First of all, guys, here, can we cool out? First of all, I don't really know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Stay with me now. <laughs> you already know your sister's a cop with the Oakdale Police. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the captain knows she paid you a little visit yesterday. Oh. Yes, and you fell for a hook, line, and sinker. Oh. Yes, me telling you that the drugs were coming in the laundry truck, and then you gave it right back to her. Oh, all right, from me. What are you saying? All right, 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 I admit it. I told him about the drug delivery, but when the warden asked me how I knew, I didn't talk, Turk. I didn't talk. Ah! I've heard enough, sweetie pie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give this guy a real good time. <laughs> His last. Oh! Craigie! Oh! Go! Why did you keep them, Denise? I... I saw them... the day Barbara told me I was going to be her signature model. They cost $300, Hal. Huh? And I never bought a, a pair of shoes that expensive. I don't know how much longer I could have gone on with it. Watching all those people suffer. I, I would have come forward a long time ago if I... I hadn't fallen so in love with you. As the world turns, this portion brought to you today by Bounty, the quicker picker-upper, and by...